Maganda buhay po sa inyo lahat. Welcome po sa program nating ito ng Emmanuel TV Network. Ang ating panauhin ngayon ay ang isang sikat na sikat at idolo ko sa puting tabing. <laughs> si Christopher Boyet de Leon po. Welcome Boyet sa ating Bishop, program. Bishop, uh, talagang malaking ano sa akin. It's an honor to be here. Really, uh, to be in front of you uh, at magkaroon ng uh, kwentuhan na uh, ika nga one-on-one -on -one with you. Uh, this is a dream come true for me. Bishop, when I accepted our Lord God, really accepted wholeheartedly in my life, Suddenly, everything became colorful. I heard the birds singing. I, I saw the trees were dancing. And, and everything was so colored. Everything was so beautiful. People were so nice to me. And parang na lift, na wash ako ng, how do you call that, Bishop? Uh, uh, the living water. Oh. Parang there was this fresh water that washed away all my dirt, iniquities, all my sins, my addiction, my alcoholism, lahat, my problems. Parang it was all washed away. And sabi ko, kapag ganito ang nararamdaman mo kapag nasa Diyos ka, ayoko nang umalis dito. Okay. Fantastic na halos na ingit ako sa iyo. Hindi ba? Beautiful. It was a big turnaround for me. And then, sabi ko kay La Celso, bakit, sabi ko kay La Celso, bakit hindi natin ipamahagi ito sa mga kasama natin, itong experience na magandang ito, na nararamdaman natin o na-experience natin sa iba. Ang unang nangyari po is uh, ang unang ginawa ko is pinatawag ko yung di bumaba kami sa Manila. No? And that was a struggle also, going back to the world. No? <laughs> that was also a struggle. Let's go back. Let's go back to Baguio. Kasama ko na ang daddy ko, my family, my closest friends and Celso was there also and then nagkaroon kami ng retreat. Uh, Father Bart Bartolome okay. oh. was heading the first and this, this retreat. Plus I heard the life story of Rolly Suklad. Ah. Rolly Suklad was yung, ang, his story was like he was uh, uh, he was almost killed by a, his friend na uh, inggit sa kanya na sa bagyo to nangyari. Tapos uh, minudmud siya sa bonfire hanggang nasunog yung buong katawan niya. And then nabuhay siya, grafted ang face niya. Uh, hindi siya halos makalakad but nagkaroon siya ng asawang nurse who took care of him became his wife after. Maganda. Nagkaroon siya na ng pamilya. Magandang pamilya. Pero siya, he looks, wow, pag nakita mo, creepy ang itsura. Pero such a nice man. Yung, yung testimony niya talagang ang nakapagbago sa akin. Ano pa yung Nangyayari, nangyayari sa kanya, hindi pa naman nangyayari sa akin to pero siya nagbago, ba't ako hindi, di ba? So, ginawa rin namin pelikula to, 
Ah. After a while, after a okay. while, ginawa namin pelikula to. But anyway, nung after that second ano, uh, Baguio experience, sabi namin, Lika, let's uh, come up with a group na lahat tiga media, uh -huh. lahat tiga yeah, show business, radio, anybody, singers, basta entertainers, media, rap reporters, producers, uh. and then there came Brother Ben, uh. Yalong. It, it was all, it was the hands of God that was moving us, actually. There, there was no audible, uh, uh -oh. uh, hey, hey, uh -oh. uh, come up with a, uh, a community. No, no, there was like, the spirit was moving us and it was giving us the inspiration. Mahirap, Fat, Bishop, Mahirap po, Bishop, um, na imbitahin ng mga taong ito. Like, there was Ben Yalong, there was Lorna Tolentino, there was Rudy Fernandez, uh, lahat ng mga, you know, uh, my wife was there, definitely Sandy and Nilong was there. Eh, to come up with the group, sila Cherry Pie, and the Ching Sapanta, oh, the producers yeah. and all that, big time producers, mayayaman. And, let's go up to Baguio. Let's experience God. Pero una muna, let's talk about the business. Let's uh, jump about what's, uh, what we can do for the business. Pero hindi nila alam, after that, we, pag-uusapan na namin ng tungkol sa Diyos. <laughs> After that, pag-uusapan na namin ng kung paano magbago, paano maging mag-iba at maging magsama-sama kaming to come up with a group that can, uh, that is Christ-centered, that is, uh, that will uh, help evangelize, help spread the good news mm -hmm. to Kaya na umpisa kong ways of love. Ayun. And then after that, dumire-derecho. Uh, pero, bago po nun, umakit kami, no? yung, yung first akit namin, no? is because, yung pelikulang gagawin namin, Lorenzo Ruiz, di ba? Sinabi oh, ko nga po sa okay. inyo. Pero, after 20 years, hindi pa nagagawa yung movie. <laughs> See, that, that, that was the hands of God oh, moving. Yes, amazing. Na, hey, hindi muna yan ang gagawin natin. Magbuo muna tayo ng community and it, this was very popular then, Oasis of Love, because we were doing a lot, Brother Ben was spearheading a lot of mga uh, telethons for mga victims of uh, earthquake, uh, pinatubo, uh, yung mga paggather ng mga relief goods and how to send them. And then kami mismo ang nagdadala with Brother Ben. Uh, I was assisting Brother Ben then. And uh, we were doing a lot of uh, uh, television shows about Beautiful television shows about uh, the Lord. It's not the ibang B movie type. No, it was really uh, ang ganda ang ganda ibang people of the Philippines versus God. Yung mga yung mga title and you know, meron meron ginawa si Brother Ben na uh, yung isang rebelde na na in love sa isang madre yung madre nagtransform na yung ano without a love ano transform yung rebelde, which was Bong Revilla then. <laughs> wow. And uh, ako naman, I directed, uh, I, incidentally, I, gumawa kami ng isang napakagandang material. Alam mo, Brother Ben, ginagawa ito ni Mel Gibson ngayon. Ha? But nauna tayo. Ginagawa po namin yung story ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo nung wala siya ng tatlong araw. Uh -huh. Where was he? He was at the... He was talking to the evil one. He was talking to Satan. They were discussing. 
there was dalawang seitan yun eh dalawa eh. isang isang voluptuous uh, sexy uh-huh. tapos yung isa talagang trying to eh, yung sexy trying to seduce Jesus Christ and all that it was so beautiful ang ganda those were the projects we were doing then and uh, and dami namin nagawa and then retreats left and right uh, uh, shows kasi may marami po kami mga mga ano eh mga celebrities that we can use for uh, mga shows you know eh, so, all sama na rin sila sa inyo noon opo opo uh, shows na would sila, sila ay ay dela sala oh. so nagsho show kami papatawa kami and then we praise god Papatawa, we praise God and all that. And we sing songs about gospel songs and all that. So, it was fun. It was fun, really. And that, meron pa kami yung basketball uh, team that would go around. Parang, ano, um, parang there was a basketball team Nakalaman before. Nakalaban namin kayo. Diyos ko po. Carlos. Alam nyo. Ito, uh, uh, pasensya na po kayo. Masasabi ko. Pero, isa sa pinaka... Talagang matitinding mamalya. Alam mo kung sino? <laughs> Ang mga kaparean. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. Because siguro yung, 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 yung galit nila, hindi nila mailabas. <laughs> siguro sa basketball, boom! Boom! Naku! Kaya bago ako pumasok, kagano muna ako. Pag, pag, pag may nabalya akong pare, Father, Sorry, forgive ha? me. <laughs> anyway, ganun po nag-start ang Oasis. So, it, it, become, it was fun. It was fun then. It Kasama fun. niya nun si Father Sunny Ramirez. Oh, yes. From the beginning, yes. Yung first batch namin, yes. Kasama namin si Father. Siyang, saka kumuha kami ng mga speakers that are really, really good. No? And uh, yeah, you talk ni Father Sani was sal- about salvation. And uh, after that, tuloy tuloy na yung pag-guide ni Father Sani. He was our spiritual director for a while. You know. For a while, yes. Ayun. Yes. And ngayon, nagpatuloy yung oasis na yun. After 18, 20 years, medyo tumiwalag kami ni La Brother Ben for a while. Uh, pero I'm still a member. Not, but I am not a leader or servant leader anymore. Just an ordinary member. It's very hard to be a ano, servant leader. It's, so, uh, nagpapatuloy pa ngayon ng Oasis of Love? Yes, Bishop. Hindi naman nabuwag? Hindi po. Hindi po. Uh-huh. Uh, Katunayan po, uh, meron silang itong pandemyang ito, meron silang mga pinapalabas sa YouTube and uh, Facebook ng mga Bible study, uh, selling groups, and then inspirational talks. And then right now, meron silang thread sa Facebook ng Praying for Each Other. Ganun pa rin. But, uh, uh, ang, ku, uh, parang, ang kailangan po, I think, is some to revitalize again. Kasi may pandemya eh. Hindi kaya hindi natin magawa eh. No? Oh. So, siguro after this, uh, hopefully, uh, Bishop, and I do pray, uh, that after this pandemic is uh, a revival for for all of us. Hari uh, nawa, alam mo ang isang talaga kinababahala ako, no? Apo. Na ang dinig ko marami sa mga showbiz people, eh, nag-ibang nag-ibang simbahan sila, iniwan nila yung Catholic Church. Di ba marami sa mga showbiz people ang umalis na sa Catholic Church, nagpunta sa mga groups. 
well, uh, ang nangyari po is uh, some of them wanted like a different uh, scene. No? Some of them were parang masyadong nagamit. No? Uh, in my case, parang ako naman, parang nagdebu na ang ano, oh. nagdebu na to, 18, 20 years na, I wanted to look for another venue. No? Uh-huh. Uh, unfortunately, ang nangyayari kasi, sa akin, ang nangyayari is, imbis na ang Diyos ang nagmamaneho, ako na bigla ang pumalit sa Ayun. driver's seat. No? And I was, uh, imbis na the Lord uh, being the captain of the ship, ako na yung naging captain again uh-huh. after that. No? So medyo na pariwara din again ako but uh, I am back I'm back I'm oh, back. paano naman nangyari yung pagbalik mo ang sense mo na I'm back uh, the seed has been planted uh, I know the uh, it, it was kind of not easy but it was also hard for me to ano uh, to break away from it again because I tried politics for a while eh. Oh. oh. Y- yun yung venue yung pinuntahan ko oh. eh. I tried politics but uh, after several years, after six years, parang uh, hindi yata, for, not, not for me. Not for me. Uh, at the same time, medyo worldly ng konti. Oh. <laughs> worldly ng konti. So, uh, bumalik ako sa pananampalataya. Apo. So, ngayon, uh, Boy, at paanong, anong role ang nakikita mo para sa iyong sarili at para sa mga katulad mo? Yung dati-dati, talagang mapursigi kayo para sa Panginoon. Paano mo ngayon i-channel yung energy na yon? Lalo na ngayon, tanda mo, 500 years tayo ng Christianity, mm-hmm. di ba? Mm-hmm. E di, kinakailangan makahanap tayo ng venue para uh, gisingin ang pananampalatayang katoliko sa ating mga kapwa katoliko at sa ating mga kapwa kristyano. Yes, sir. Um, I think uh, using my God-given talent, uh, I've been, like last night I was just, just last night, I was. You know, it it has been happening for a while, no. Since this pandemic happened, not even, no. Since the pandemic happened, no. Uh, San Lorenzo Ruiz na nangyari before the pandemic. Yun San Lorenzo movie, ginawa namin play, no. Uh, Music by Ryan Kayabya. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful. Uh, ang libretto by Paul Dumol. This is a beautiful play. Uh, tapos nagkaroon na nga ng pandemia. Uh, nahinto yun. So, hopefully after, after this, this, uh, uh, this thing that we're going on, we're going through right now. Um, eh, magkaroon ng revival, magkaroon naman resurgence ulit ng our faith. No? Uh, magkaroon na naman ng mga ideas. Uh, just last night, I was praying and thanking God um, that uh, He has been inspiring me to do a movie no uh-huh. a movie ganun din si brother ben he, he has an idea of making a movie again uh, gagamitin uli namin ang aming mga talents and uh, makagawa tayo ng mga very ano very now at the same time uh, movies or 
television shows that will like you guys have e TV network oh. I mean now I mean this is a start of you know after the pandemic this will grow big this will be bigger than you know uh, than what we have right now and we will have a lot of shows oh. and then hopefully magamit pa rin kami no sa mga gawain para sa panganon because um, I think uh, without vision people perish <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, I I was thanking God last night that uh, he's just giving me the inspiration to do uh things that will uh, glorify him. Oh, glorify him. Yes. So incidentally, uh itong pandemya ng ito, itong pangyayaring ito eh maraming nakapagpagising sa atin. Sa amin, lalo na yung mga pangyayaring uh, ano ba ang relasyon mo sa pamilya mo. Oh. Yung mga ganong klaseng mga material oh. ang kailangan natin. Ano bang, yung mga storya natin after this. Oh. Ang dami. Ang ang dami na matay si ganyan, si ano, nagkasakit, pero ang dami niyang revelation, oh. realization in life and all that. Ang dami. Marami tayong pwedeng halungkatin ng mga oh. pandemya ng araw, yung mga gano'n. Oo, oh, ang dami nga natin pagkukwento. Siguradong sigurado yan. Ang dami natin pagkukwento, oh. Andy Shep. Ang dami. Kaya nakatawa nga ako kanina, may mga kasama ako eh. Ang nagpapapicture sa akin yung mga ibang uh, uh, barangay health workers eh. Sabi ko, alam nyo, sabi ko, siguro pagkatapos ito, itong pandemya ng ito, Makikita natin yung mga pictures natin. Papakita natin. Uy, alam mo, nung araw, nakamask kami, saka nakashield kami. O, tigan mo. O, di ba? Uh. Nakaka, na, nakakatuwa yun siguro. No? Umabot tayo sa panahon na parang ano. And, 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 and to some, this is a spiritual warfare. This is, uh, we, we don't see the enemy anyway. So, oh, boyet, talagang spiritual warfare ito. Tandaan, oh. tayo ni eh, I think we should be convinced about that. Yes. Na our fight is not against flesh and blood, ha? Talagang yes. There is uh, someone behind this also. Yes. You know? And uh, si Father Cantalamesa nung siya ay magbigay ng uh, homily sa misa ng Papa. Sabi niya, in this fight God, tandaan nyo ito, God is not the enemy, God is with us. Yes. So there is an enemy. Yes. Uh, yes. And uh, very, very cunning. No. At nagmamanipulate din ng mga nangyayari sa mundo. Yes. Po, uh, for a while, uh, yung first bulusok ng pandemya, nagkaroon ako ng COVID. Mm -hmm. No? Uh, pero... I was not worried of myself. I was worried of the people around me, especially my family, the, my, my co-workers, no? and, uh, and my wife who is a immunocompromised oh, uh, because of her kidney. Um, I was like, uh, can I inject this, no? Lang, oh. uh, Bishop? I was in, in my, my room, this is my first time kasi before this pandemic I was I was praying I was praying the whole almost the whole day before work uh, during work after work before before eating uh, everything I see I pray but it was not really coming mm, deep inside oh. ano nung nagkaroon ako <laughs> ng ano ng Nang, nang virus, I was alone in my room in the hospital. Mabuti na lang pinagdadasal ko na huwag naman po mahawa yung iba. And God granted my prayers. Walang nahawa sa amin. Ako lang. So I was in the hospital room 
and I was praying again. Uh, sabi ko, sabi nga doon sa, sa, sa banal na aklat na uh, greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. So sabi ko, tapos ang laban. <laughs> Oo. Like kasi, greater is he who is in me Oo. than he who is in the world. And then, now, I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. So Oo. the Spirit is with me. So tapos ang laban. Oo. Wala na yung sakit. Oo. Uh, this will be uh, gone after a while. No? And then, hindi nga na ano yung, yung pamilya ko. And I was thanking God. And uh, yung Psalm 91 ko, uh, 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 He will uh, shield us from oh. the fowler's snare, from yes. the deadly pestilence. A thousand pestil. may fall at your side. A thousand may fall at your side. Ten thousand, nothing shall befall you. And uh, 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 this pestilence, I, I will cover you with this, my pinions and give you refuge oh. under my wings. Oh. His faithfulness is my shield. Grabe. Oh. Ano? Ito yung mga kailangan alamin natin ngayon that our, our shield is His faithfulness to us. So, nung, nung na, ano na, nung, nung natapos na yung aking ordeal sa virus, sabi ko, uh, ano kaya yung purpose ko? Bakit ako nagkaganon? And then, nabasa ko nga po na um, um, all things work together for good for those who love God and are called according to His purpose. Ano kaya yung purpose ko? Bishop, biglang may lumapit sa akin, ano? may lumapit sa akin Doktor, after ano after all of this ha, you donate your ano plasma mm. to others. Sabi ko, siguro yun ang purpose ko. <laughs> so I did. Yeah. I donated uh, by the grace of God yeah. nagawa ko po yun ano hindi yeah. not because of my ano what I can do. By the grace of God nagawa ko yun twice. I was able to donate plasma twice. So, habi ko, ito yung mga pagkakataon na binibigyan pa ako ng pagkakataon na to survive this. And then, uh, marami pa siguro akong purpose. Uh, in sigurado life. yan. Siguro, siguro. Marami pa. And the Lord, you know, will guide you step by step. Yes. Uh, and uh, I, ako, I dare say, Baka ito isa sa mga steps na gustong gamitin ng Panginoon para lalong i-reveal sa iyo kung ano ang magagawa mo pa. Yun lang, yun lang isipin mo yun. No? Napakalaking bagay na yun. Yung isipin mo na may magagawa ako kaya ako binubuhay ng Panginoon. Opo. Ayan. And I'd like to encourage you to keep on thinking about that and discussing it with other people. Because really, tama yung insight mo eh. All things work together and to good for those that love God. At uh, ikaw nung kunin ka ng Panginoon, eh kinuha ka niya, hindi lang para sa iyo eh. Basta kasi, si Boy at De Leon, hindi pwedeng pumasok sa langit na nag-iisa. <laughs> hindi po. Marami kang dadalhin <laughs> sa langit, Boy. <laughs> Marami kang dadalhin at isasama sa ligaya ng Panginoon sa katuwaan niya no sa inirereserba niya na talagang destiny nating lahat uh, bishop if i may add po uh, i do pray na makasama ko rin ng buong pamilya ko mga anak ko uh, no uh, araw-araw pinagdadasal ko nakukulitan na sa akin si Lord Uh, pinagdadasal ko na sila ay safe no and then uh, talagang they will be able to embrace the lord yeah. uh, alam mo yung panalangin na yan 
Siguradong siguradong sasagutin naman ng Panginoon. Hallelujah. That is Thank the God. prayer that the Lord wants. Talaga. Thank you. Yes, so, yes. maraming maraming salamat, Boyet, ha? Opo. Eh, ito lang, una natin lang pagtatagpo ito. <laughs> Kailangan may kasunod pa ito. Nakakatuwa po. Opo, nako. At uh, for me, it has been a revelation. And I'd like to say this, to confess this before everybody. You really touched me. Kasi so, Ayan eh, bahagi ng pasimula na ng mga bagong mission mo. Ah, dito, you, you touch me. Eh? This is very, very... I am oh, so oh, much inspired and filled with the Spirit in front of you. Oh, na, talaga, talaga. Yeah. Ang dami ko nalaman na hindi ko alam dati. Oh, oh. Kasi ang talagang mas alam ko si yung showbiz na oh, oh. si... Boy at the Leon. Abo, abo, abo. Ah, Naibigyan ko po yan. Ako, tuwa ko napanood kita nung tinimbang ka ngunit. Ay, ko. <laughs> Gusto ko magpare. Bakit? Kasi masarap ang pagkain ng pare. <laughs> Pero okay. ngayon, makikita mo, kahit hindi ka pare, ang Panginoon ay gagamitin ka marahil higit pa sa maraming pare. Opo. So, may God bless you, no? Thank At, uh, you very much. At aming yung family ni Sandy. And may bless your career once again. Yes. Uh, revive not only your spiritual life, but also your professional life. Yes. And above all, your family life. Uh, Important. Maraming maraming salamat, Boyet. Thank you very much, Richard. Ito, no, ko, I'm so glad to be here and uh, to be talking to you. I am blessed. God bless you and kayo rin po sana. Panalangin niyo po kami at maraming maraming salamat po sa pakikisa ninyo sa ating programa na ito. Thank you, Boyet. Thank you po. Thank you sa lahat.